It's crazy how we make so many errors in InDesign projects, yet everything looks so perfect on the screen. We spend hours of hours to find out the mistakes in our document. However, mistakes don't make themselves known until the document is already printed. Unfortunately, the print material cannot be edited at all. That's where we need proofreading to minimize all the errors before we send the document for printing. This is exactly what Preflight does. Keep watching to find out more. What is Preflight? Although it sounds like putting the phone on flight mode. Yes, that's exactly what we want to achieve. So, hold down for a minute and check for errors and technical issues in the document. Before taking off your document to the printer, some of those issues include missing images, links, fonts, and even overset text. Now, you don't need to go through all the pages for proofreading. Instead, Preflight automatically does that job for you. Have a look at this InDesign document. As I scroll down, I find no issues throughout the document. But, in reality, the document contains so many errors. Can you see the little red dot at the bottom of this interface? It is displaying number of errors in this document. So, we need to fix these errors. As long as this red dot is present here, the document will have errors that needs to be known before printing. When you double click on this red dot, Preflight panel will open up. You can also go to Window, Output and choose Preflight. Shortcut key is Ctrl Alt Shift F. Let's resolve these errors. After you resolve all these errors, the red dot will turn into green dot. Instead of errors, it will display no errors. So, when you are done collecting the errors, you can prepare the document ready to be printed. In short, the process of checking a document for potential output problems is called preflighting. How does preflight work? With the preflight panel open, turn on or off the preflight by unchecking this button. Beware, when preflight is turned off, you won't see any error notification on the bottom of this interface. So, if you want the InDesign to flag up the errors and update them to no errors after they are resolved, then you must keep it checked. Just check this option and your preflight is turned on. This error window is the main part of this panel. So, whatever errors happen, they will appear over here and preflight will organize them in different categories. This includes missing link errors, color transparency and blending errors, images and object resolution, transparency and stroke thickness error, missing text fonts, overset text and others. For instance, you can see this links error on top of this list. When I click on this arrow, next to the error, the error message expands showing the missing links. Let's click on this arrow. And finally, we get this missing link. So, after you double click on this link, InDesign will take you to where the missing link is located in your document. Click on this arrow next to the info to expand the information window at the bottom of this panel. You can see this red question mark next to its name. InDesign will let you know what kind of problem it is and how to resolve the problem. Let's solve this issue by relinking the image. Now see, after I resolve this issue, the missing link error has disappeared. The next error is a text error. Let's investigate where it is coming from. Expand this text. It is showing overset text, which means somewhere in this document, the text is out of the frame. Let's expand this arrow. See, it's the text frame. Click on the info. Preflight made the problem very clear. Overset text. It is also showing the number of characters that are affected by this error. Here's the fix. Resize the text frame or edit the text to fit within the frame. Add the text frames to the story thread if necessary. Simply double click on this text. So, 
Here's the text that is cut out due to text frame. All I need to do is resize this text frame until the full text shows up and there is no plus sign next to this paragraph. Just like this. Here you go. The error has gone from this panel. After all the errors are resolved, the red dot at the bottom turns green. Also, the message at the bottom of this interface shows no errors. This is where Preflight fulfills its duty. Then you should definitely send this file for printing. Preflight profiles. You can define preflight profiles so that you get to know the errors that you are most concerned about. InDesign comes with two preflight profiles basic and digital publishing profiles. However, you can create your own profile as well. To create a new preflight profile, open the preflight panel. Shortcut key is Ctrl Alt Shift F. Click on the top right corner of this panel that looks like hamburger. Choose Define Profiles. On this window, you can see two profiles, Basic and Digital Publishing. At the bottom of this space, we have three buttons, Plus, Minus and Preflight Profile menu. When you click on this plus button, new preflight profile is created. You can give it any name you want. Let's write my personal preflight. From here, you are free to choose the type of errors that you want for preflighting. Below, we have these five options. Each one has different roles to play in preflighting the document. If you want preflight to flag the missing links, then check this link. If you are not interested in this matter, then simply uncheck this box. If you want the preflight to flag the wrong selection of colors, whether RGB or CMYK, then check this input. Else, uncheck this. In similar fashion, if you are interested in being notified about the missing images, objects, spelling errors, text issues and more, then check them. If not, then uncheck them. Let's check all of them. However, you can keep one or more options that suits your needs. Now, when you click on this plus button once again, you will get one more new profile over here. If you want to delete this profile, simply click on this minus button. Keep in mind, you cannot edit or delete the basic preflight profile. Now, when we click on this third button, we will get these three options. Load Profile, Export Profile and Embed Profile. Load Profile allows you to import any other preflight profiles into this document. Export Profile allows you to save this profile on your computer as .idpp file that can be used for later projects. Embed Profile allows you to embed the profile with default preflight profiles. If you want to unembed it, simply choose Unembed from here. Conclusion Preflight is a handy tool to resolve all the errors in InDesign. It not only improves the final quality of the document, but transforms the workflow efficiency. In any case, if you are unsure about the errors, use this preflight mod to resolve all the errors. I hope this tutorial helped you learn everything about preflights in Adobe InDesign. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.